Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Borderlands 1 Game of the Year Edition or Borderlands Remastered. Now, very simple video here. I'm going to show you guys how to get effectively unlimited uh, XP at the very start of the game. Now, this is incredibly useful for if you're just leveling up alt characters. You know, you can pretty much take them straight up to 50, 60, 40, you know, pretty much whatever level you want and it's actually incredibly easy to do. So, as you can see, uh, my quest is Fixer Upper. That is still at the very start of the game where I have to fix the med station. Uh, you can do this pretty much any time after you've unlocked this quest, basically so we have access to the med U station. Uh, other than that, you are going to need quite a bit of cash. About 120 to 140,000 will be enough, and if you want a really easy way to get uh, a couple hundred thousand within minutes, uh, then check out my unlimited money trick. Uh, there will be a video link in the description down below. But moving on, so once you have the money, once you have the quest, what are we going to do to get the money? Uh, so I get all the EXP. Basically, we're going to be abusing one of the quests, which is this one, Merchant of Death, which requires you to sell 1,200 items. However, there is a way how we can actually repeat this quest as many times as we want for 20,000 XP every single time, which means you'll be gaining 20,000 XP every 30 seconds or so, allowing you to just absolutely massively fly through the levels aside from that we are going to be getting a couple of other quests along the way like buy 500 items those will just come naturally uh, while we're working towards merchant of death so what you want to do is go to a medju station anyone will do fine uh, i prefer the very first one simply because it only sells the minor healing kit which is extremely cheap so you're going to fill up your inventory with that so for this one like i've only got 12 inventory space so fill up all 12 slots go across and sell them. Now, now that they're sold, we aren't going to buy them back. If you buy them back, you're just gonna take your numbers straight back off Merchants of Death. So when you sell them, you actually want to buy 12 fresh new ones. Keep doing that and then keep on selling them and selling them and selling them until eventually your Merchants of Death should be up to 11.99. Whatever you do, do not complete the quest. So at the moment, I'm on 284, and I'm going to disappear for a few secs, and thanks to Video Magic, you're going to be joining me when I am back on 11.99. Okay, so in the process of getting to 1,199 sold items, which honestly really didn't take that long. Uh, I mean, as you can see here, it's still the same seal, it, item of the day. Uh, so, you know, I mean, five, ten minutes at absolute most. It really doesn't take too long to do this. Uh, we actually got quite a few levels, uh, six levels just while getting here. So, when you're actually on 1,199 sold items, what you want to do is really simple. Simply buy one more med pack, sell it, so we just got the 20k there, and then you want to buy it back. And this is really important, only do one at a time. And then as you can see there, so we've got the 20k, but we are still able to do the challenge. Now, unfortunately, you can't constantly repeat this while in the same game. After you buy the item back, you have to quit the game, go back to the main menu, and then finally load back in. When you load back in, you can effectively redo it all over again. So you can sell the one med pack, buy it back, and that will allow you to just get the uh, challenge bonus again. And obviously getting 20k a time at these early levels, I mean, that's a guaranteed level every time you do it. I mean, it'll be a guaranteed level all the way up to... Oh, I didn't actually mean to buy a second one there. Oh, well. But yeah, uh, just sell it and buy it back. And there we go, another uh, couple of levels. So, as you can see, guys, there you go. Extremely easy, extremely straightforward. And that is how you can get any amount of EXP at the very start of the game extremely easily. But that's where I'm going to end the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new around here, then hit that subscribe button. But as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.